Mass extinctions negate the theory of evolution. Did evolution actually occur given that there were five mass extinctions of global proportions? Evolutionists are at a loss to explain how evolution could have occurred after a mass extinction when most of the previous life forms were decimated. The sudden appearance of life forms of a higher order after the five great extinctions is incompatible with the theory of a continuous process of natural selection. Aldridge and Gould's 1972 paper on punctuated equilibrium proposed that the degree of gradualism commonly attributed to Charles Darwin was virtually non-existent in the fossil record. The article states, The general pattern of punctuated equilibrium constitutes long periods of stasis interrupted by rapid catastrophic change. The fossil record is a construct designed to support evolutionary theory and fails to place any importance on the breaks in continuity that appear in the record. There were six Earth formation periods separated by five major catastrophic events. The range of life forms of each Earth formation period being more or less self-contained. In God's new word as regards Earth periods 1 and 2, very little is stated. In Earth period 3 it states, the vegetation became much more varied and abundant and reached giant size, animals as well as the vegetation. Earth upheavals came again. Towards the end of the fourth period, again cataclysms took place burying most of what at that time you would describe as creatures. From the start of the fifth period it took more than a million years until all suitably situated ground was completely ready for a new creation of a great number of different plants as well as a variety of animals and pre adamitic man. With the beginning of this period the Earth is brought into a regular orbit around the Sun. Already day and night alternate regularly. Nevertheless there are still many changes since the variation of the Earth's poles are still considerable. At the time of Adam with whom the sixth Earth period begins once more great cataclysms took place on parts of the Earth through fire and water. As a result, the pre-Adamitic race became practically extinct. Adam was put on Earth at a time when climatic conditions had become favourable compared to earlier times. It, however, is quite true and definite that beings resembling man existed also long before Adam, but there is a very great difference between them and men who are truly free.